Um, and I'll maybe start just by framing why innovation, why mining organisations should embed um, innovation. And the answer is with, with increasing um, costs and, and pinching margins, mining innovations have no option but to innovate, right? Because if you do what you've always done, you, you'll get what you've always got. And, and what the mining industry has been getting is, is pinching margins. Um, so with regards to your question about how to embed innovation, um, there's, there's four main aspects or, or, or categories that, that need to be considered when, when embedding um, innovation within a mining organization. And it's by no means like a mutually exclusive and combined exhaustive list. It's just based on my experience, the, the four key um, aspects that need to be considered. Um, so the, the, the first one is, and there needs to be a clear objective to the innovation. Um, an objective isn't innovation itself, right? It needs to be um, productivity, um, efficiency, um, safety, um, because technology and, and any innovation related to that and needs to support the, this, this objective. And the second one is um, having the right type of innovation program, right? So um, there's a range of different types of, of innovation programs. So there's a lot of different tools within the Innovation Manager's Toolkit. And from open innovation to research and, and development um, to um, you know, idea management from within the organization. And innovation, um, innovation management programs are designed um, to yield a specific result. So it doesn't help you uh, follow a recipe for making a roast and expect a lasagna when you open the, the stove, right? Or when you open the, the oven. And um, so you need to be very clear about what you expect and, and, and what innovation program you, you choose. And um, the, the third one is um, having a systematic approach to innovation. So this is a bit of a hot topic um, amongst innovation managers. You know, so when should innovation be sporadic and, and impulsive and um, you know, let the best idea win? And, and when should it be managed with a specific um, outcome in mind? Um, but I'm definitely a fan of systematic innovation, especially within a well-established industry like the mining industry, right? Um, because what I found is uh, sometimes you find this really cool technology or this really interesting tech um, and you come to the business unit and you're all excited about it. It's going to increase their um, yields by 50% and then they tell you, sorry, we didn't budget for it, so we can't implement it this year. Uh, wait for next year's budget cycle and then the money will be available the year after that. So now you've had two years um, of losing out on this, you know, potential benefit. Um, so uh, these four steps, it, it sounds very simple and clear, but in reality, it's it's much harder to to implement um, and and embed into into any organisation. If, if you asked me this question three years ago, I would say it's about staying ahead of the game. But just with the climate and everything that's that's going on, it's about staying in the game, right? Um, so if, if if you don't if you don't innovate, um, there's no way that you'll be able to avoid these these pinching margins. Um, it's about the law of of, of diminishing returns. Um, and an example is uh, just studies have shown that. Um, Mining companies who adopt digital type technologies um, can expect increase in productivity of between 10 and 30 percent. So, how can a mining company with no digital strategy um, compete with a company that has, right? So, um, that's just one, one example in the, the digital space. Um, within innovation in the mechanical, electrical, uh, chemical space, um, there's a bunch of these, these um, examples. So, let's say diesel efficiency, where um, Exoro um, is currently piloting a, a mechanical solution that um, promises, we'll see at the end of the POC, um, to, to increase diesel efficiency by um, between 5 and 8 percent, right? So these um, mechanical um, innovations also has, has a large benefit and how can a company with no you know, innovation strategy compete with a company who has? Exora realized the benefit of digital technologies um, very early on. Um, and in response, we created a digital at Exora program. So we call it the D at E program, and it was um, started in uh, 2016. And the, the aim of this program was to, to guide um, and to form a strategy uh, for Exora to reach uh, end state of, of intelligent um, operations. And on this journey, there's, there's a few building blocks, right? 
Um, so the first is getting all the data together, um, whether it's from the IoT devices, your dispatch system, um, drone footage, whatever the, the case may be. Um, and then getting it in a usable format. So um, I was gonna say the, the IT guys understand, you know, having data versus having data usable format is, is not, not the same thing. Um, and then this, this data is then used to, um, uh, for data analytics and then data visualization. Uh, the next step is machine learning and then the last step is artificial intelligence, right? So there's, there's a bunch of building blocks leading up to this um, potential use of, of artificial um, intelligence. And, um, a smart mind or a, a, a integrated mind does not necessarily um, mean that it's driven by AI, right? Um, it just means that uh, we'll have the capability to incorporate artificial intelligence type technologies should, should we need to. Exora's uh, uh, just approach to artificial intelligence is not, I'm going to say, rushing full speed ahead to deploying artificial intelligence across um, across board, right? It's about getting the building blocks in place so that um, should uh, the need arise um, for artificial intelligence or should there be a challenge where artificial intelligence is the most obvious and, and uh, most viable solution that we have the capabilities to, to deploy these, these solutions. Um, there's a lot of commercially available artificial tools, artificial intelligence um, tools within the, the mining industry currently. Um, so just off the top of my head, um, uh, predictive maintenance is, is a big thing, um, advanced process control, um, uh, within the resource modeling industry, there's, there's also you know, artificial intelligence tools coming up in, in that space. Um, and Exoro is uh, gearing itself and piloting these technologies to see where it would have the most value to, to employ them. Um, also a hot topic, um, and I think it isn't a one-size at all rule of thumb type answer, right? It depends on the mining organization, um, the culture, the, the business unit involved. Um, but if I were to choose just one thing, I would definitely say it's the people components. Um, because what innovation has, I was gonna say, historically done wrong, um, is we've come up with this great process and this great technology, and we go to the metallurgist or the, or the geologist and say, this is gonna make your life easier. And they take it, wrap a nice little bow around it, put it on a shelf and go on with what they were busy doing, right? Um, so it's about taking the people along the journey, understanding their challenges, understanding where innovation can play a role and not just, I was going to say, slapping innovation on top of anything for the sake of, of innovation. Innovation always needs to be purpose-driven. Um, and if it's not, that's where, I was going to say, the misstep comes in. So within the digitization space um, specifically, I, I think the, the, the answer is just embracing it fully, right? It doesn't help that one portion of the organization is digitized and, and, and not the next. Um, because the, the, the value of digitization is having this, this integrated view. Um, and, and by having this integrated view, it enhances the, the, the efficiency um, and cross-collaboration, cross um, which unlocks productivity, right? Um, so something that Exora did uh, particularly well, um, just also on, on this journey to our intelligent operation, is the data analytics and, and visualization portion, right? Um, so all of our um, business units have um, IOCs or, or integrated operation and control centers. Um, and this is one, just allows for one version of, of the truth. So um, it allows uh, the breakdown of, of, of barriers um, so that the metallurgist, the geologists, and uh, the mining engineer are all on the same page about what's going on um, in the operation. So um, now how mining operations can do it uh, differently is definitely embracing um, digital to its fullest capacity um, and just using it to, to uh, facilitate the, um, the stakeholder engagement and just that cross-collaboration between different functions.